Tonight, a huge shakeup for the Orlando Magic. Now, head coach Scott Skiles is out after just one season. This has been getting a lot of attention on social media. You probably got an alert on your phone through the News 6 mobile app this morning. Now, Ping is here with more on this. And Ping, you're hearing this is some sort of power struggle going on? Uh, it's like a soap opera over there. Yeah. At I have to say, here we go again. Yeah. I mean, come oh, on. This, is, this is beyond here we go again. This is like, you know, one year and you're out. That like, quit. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. All right, well, call it one of the strangest days in coaching history. Certainly not every day that after a year on the job, with three years remaining of the deal, on that deal, a coach says goodbye. But Scott Skiles did just that today. After discussions the last couple of days with upper management, Skiles could not be convinced into changing his mind. Earlier this afternoon on ClickOrlando.com, I reported the power struggle between Skiles and Magic GM Rob Hennigan. League sources telling me that Skiles has not liked the players that Hennigan has put together on the roster, like point guard Elford Payton and Victor Oladipo. If that is the case, Skiles took his bucket, went home, even with money remaining on the deal. He improved the team with 10 wins more than last year. This is one of the strangest days in coaching history. Wow. Uh, obviously, we were very surprised by it. Um, took us aback a little bit. And after talking with Scott and um, having more dialogue, you know, it became apparent that he came to this conclusion and um, felt like it was the right thing for, for him and his family to do. Speculation. He didn't get along with the general manager. Um, is that is that something that they just kind of butted heads and I want out? Is he's he's just that kind of guy. I'm going to take my bucket and go home. I don't know. You know, I, I think you'd have to ask Scott that. Um, you know, I would characterize everything that happened during the course of this year as sort of normal NBA ebbs and flows. Rob, uh, did Scott respect you? You think? You'd have to ask Scott that question. I would hope so, um, but you'd have to ask Scott. All right, coming up in the next hour, we'll have more on this story. Now, the Magic do have a separation agreement with Skiles. From what I've been told, he'll be paid for a year with the assistants also getting paid. Skiles also signing a confidentiality agreement, so he's not talking about the situation. So now, what happens here? So it looks like the power struggle was run by Rob Hennigan. I can tell you this, the fans do not like Rob Hennigan. It doesn't he's look good not, for he, him. You know, no. it does not look good for him, but Skiles, somebody... Skiles so loses. Gone, he's still there. He's still there. So certainly now he is on the hot seat. I'll yeah. have much more of my uh, conversation with Alex Martin. He's as well. still there, and the Magic still seem to be a total mess. They are a total mess right now. Well, yeah. They were just but getting better. They, they were, they were, they yeah. were kind of getting over that hump, but now, now they're going to be looking for a new head coach. I'm throwing out Doc Rivers. You know, I know Doc's got a yeah. deal out with the Los Angeles Clippers. I know Doc well. Uh, Why don't you go coach for him? Uh, you know, you know, but they need players. Yeah, they do. You know, they a, a, a good coach can only get you so far. They certainly need good players. Yeah. And right now, Scott Skiles believes they do not have the good players on the Left roster. Because of it. All right. And he Thanks, said, I'm man. out. We appreciate it. See ya. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on real yeah, quick. Give it to me. Facebook Live. In five minutes, I'll answer all your questions at my desk. Go to our uh, Facebook, Facebook page. Good idea. New Is that you like that? Yeah. Right like now. That. Here we go. I'll get on my phone right away. <laughs> Thanks.